Hello everyone, we will continue the topic BRF plus and in the previous video, we started with how to call a BRF plus application from the program. So as a part of that, we firstly enable the personalize to expert mode. We went to personalize, we changed the user mode to expert. We went to this particular create code template button. We copy pasted the code. We copy the code and paste it into our program. Now we will go for respective code changes into this particular program. Before I will go for code changes, I will again put so much stress on the function function because ultimately your functionality is getting executed because of function only. And now I added one extra line here. And this is again most most important line. And now it's a time to understand the meaning of this line also. Just see this particular code. We have a the constant for function ID. And this is the value of the function ID. SAP generated this particular code. Just see what is the name of our function. Our name of the function is calculate. Every, every function has a unique ID. Just if you want to see the unique ID of the function, you can expand general. Whenever you are expanding, have you seen this function has a unique ID and this is in our program. And ultimately, we are using this function ID. Just see, we are using this function ID to get the particular result. Now, just see, this is your program. This is your program, a bad program. This is your BRF plus application. We created the independent BRF plus application. This is our ABAP program. How this ABAP program, whenever this ABAP program is passing the values, how it will go to BRF plus application? Suppose I am giving the input one, how that input will pass to the BRF plus application? with the help of function only with the help of function. So this is the main, main definition. Function is the entry point of BRF plus from SAP. SAP means you can understand from in terms of a BAP program also. So if someone asks you, what is function? Function because your functionality is ultimately executing because of function. Function is the entry point because whenever you will give the input to the program, that input, how, how it will pass to the BRF plus application with the help of function only function. And every function has a unique function ID. And just remember when we did the simulation also, we did the simulation of the function because ultimately it is helping us to run our functionality to execute the functionality. Now we will proceed further. Now what will be the input to this particular program? The input to this particular program is what? Duration. We are passing the duration one year, two year, three year because that is the same input to our BRF plus application. So, and you, you know, whenever I want to give a single input, I will always, always take help of parameter. So, suppose my name of the input parameter is P underscore input type. I will pass the data element. We already created the data element, which we used in BRF plus application also. I will use this. Now, now we will scroll down. Now this input, this input, just when you scroll down, you can see you are able to see red lines here. Red lines means it is, it is error, but ultimately it is not error. 
SAP is giving you clear indication that you need to do something here. And it is clearly saying you need to pass the context. Context means what? Input. When we started that topic, I told you context means what? Input. It means you need to pass your input here. Your input is coming by which particular parameter? P underscore input. It's a very, very meaningful code. What was the name of your input you gave in the BRF plus application P input? This P input is our parameter name. So if I will give one, it will go for one. If I will go for two, it will do. If I will go for three, it will go for three. Now just scroll down. Now input is done. Now I will come on to output. And SAP gave clear documentation. Your result is bind to DD IC type. Whatever your result data object. What is your result data object? Just go for your BRF plus application. But our result data object is P output. We binded it to DD IC. Yes. Just see SAP is clearly, clearly saying. If I will click here, LA underscore P output. LA underscore P output is of type this data element. Now just see how SAP is doing. It's a SAP generated code. Nothing we have to do. It is SAP is getting the reference and passing it to LR data. SAP is assigning LR data to this particular field symbol. And have you seen? We are importing this. We are importing this. Just remember, always import will become export. Export will become import. It means we will get the output into this particular field symbol. Nothing. There's no need to go into detail what is get reference or something. Those who know field symbol, they know, yes, we can go for assign, yes. But that is not target of this particular video. Just see, SAP has written the logic and ultimately our result will come into this. Our output will come into this. So now I will simply, simply go for the right statement because ultimately you need to print the result. So I will go for right. So this particular field symbol will return the output of the interest rate. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate this particular program. And you can see this, how, how it is doing. You are passing the input. This input is ultimately going to this internal table. SAP is using that function. Now this is your input. See, this is your input internal table. And in this, we will get the result. Ultimately, everything is with the help of function only with the help of function. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, I told you that this function, what is function? Now we have an additional definition of function. They are the entry points of BRF plus from SAP. Because ultimately you will give the input to the program. How that input will go to BRF plus application through function only. So they are the entry points and every function has a function ID. You can check the function ID through general tab. And in the code, we have the function ID. We took a parameter in the program. And yes, we, we got a red line here. So red line means we need to do something that, okay. So I simply pass the name of the parameter because SAP gave the comment, insert context. Context means what? Input. Then after that, we understand that SAP has written the logic to for the output also. And in this, we will get the output. I will pass the selection text. I will go for go to text element, selection text. Suppose I will write duration. I will choose DDIC reference. It will come automatically. 
and this description came from the data element itself. Now, in the next video, we will run this program and we will check are we getting a expected result or not. So that's it in this video. Thank you.